But he had, had chartered the plane because he was, he was miserable and uh, the bus was freezing, wanted to fly ahead and get some laundry done. The small charter plane that took off from Clear Lake, Iowa, headed for Fargo on February 2nd, 1959, with its intended cargo of Buddy Holly, Tommy Alsop, and Waylon Jennings, never arrived. Tragically, it crashed shortly after takeoff. Waylon's brother Tommy was listening to his radio in Texas. It come over that Buddy Holly and his band had been ki uh, killed outside of Clear Lake, Iowa. And, of course, everything just melted. And I took off, took off to the house. Of course, Mama was, was in tears, and naturally, everything was just up. I mean, bottom side upwards, everything had gone. But a few hours later, Waylon called his mother to tell her he was still alive. In fact, he had never gotten on the plane. Before the plane took off, Waylon was approached by J.P. Richardson, known as the Big Bopper. He says, listen, said, would you mind me taking your place on that plane? He said, because said, I've had the flu, I'm sick, and I've got to get over there and get some rest. And I said, if it's okay with Buddy, it's okay with me. Saved by an accident of fate along with fellow band member Tommy Alsop, who had given up his seat to Richie Valens, Waylon was still alive. But he was tortured by the parting remark he made to Buddy Holly at the airport. They were getting ready to leave and, and you know, t tell each other goodbye, but uh, Buddy said to Waylon, well, I hope your ass freezes on the bus. And then I had told Buddy, oh, I hope your old plane crashes. You know, when we, we cut up like that all the time. 